Alright guys, welcome to your 10th video and in this video we are finally going to begin styling the main layout for our website. So let me go ahead and the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys the code on the register.php page. Basically we have the body which everything that we see is in the body and what we are going to be doing is the easiest way to center this web page is to stick everything inside a div. Now I'm going to name this div wrapper and it's basically going to wrap all of the content everything we see visually on our website. Now inside this wrapper is basically everything you see here. Now I'm going to be breaking up our website into a couple main pieces. The first piece is the main header. The main header is a space with the logo and the links at the top. This is, remember, the main header. After this, I'm going to have another area which is the search bar. This area right here with um, where you can type in your keywords and this little form right here and this button, this is the search area. Now I'm also going to have a left hand side which is primarily going to be links although it may differ whenever we uh, make custom web pages and also the right hand side. So your main content, the main thing that's going to change is on the right hand side and this is pretty much the main section of your website. So again the header, search area, left hand side, main section and also the footer. So there you go, now let's go ahead and style all these things. So let me hop back into main CSS and the first thing I want to do is take care of the main wrapper. Now remember the wrapper is the thing that surrounds your entire website. So why do I need to style this? Well you will see. Wrapper and I'm gonna first set the width of this box. Now the main width is gonna determine the width, width Man, that's kind of a hard word to say, say for your entire website. So I want my entire website to be 1000 pixels wide. So 1000 pixels and what this is going to do is it's going to make a box that we put everything else into. So the next thing I want to do with this box is I want to set a margin. For, oh, got some phlegm in my throat. A margin and let me go ahead and write this out before I explain it to you. 15 pixels. Oops. 15 pixels auto zero pixels. Now this is shorthand and it is crucial whenever um, trying to send your web page and let me go ahead and explain to you guys what this means. Whenever you pass three um, sets of pixels in here it says okay the top box it's 15 pixels from the very top of your website so if you look at our website we can see the very topmost section is this message all these links you see that there's a little space between all this text and the top of the website which is right here there's actually that 15 pixels so we're saying okay we don't want it butted right up against the top because that'll look weird so give us 15 pixels on top now the second auto means left and right so it says make it automatic make it even for left and right so basically the same amount on the left and the right hand side and whenever you do that it automatically gives the same number of pixels on the left and right hand side therefore centering your website now the last one was zero pixels and that means zero pixels from the bottom so whenever we get to the bottom of our website as you can see if we highlight this I know it has a white background but this text is butted right up against the bottom of the website because you know we don't need any padding between the bottom of the website and our content if we had a lot of padding then it would be like is there sp something supposed to be down there that they like deleted or something so that's why you should always have a margin on top of about 15 pixels and no margin on bottom so I know that um I kind of talked about that one line of code for a while but a lot of people don't understand how to center websites properly and that's how. So the last thing I want to do is just text align left and what this is going to do is essentially um, left align all the content inside this entire box. So there you go and uh, the next thing we need to do is take care of this main header. So like I said we did the main box the main website right now the next step is to do the things inside the website the first being this main header which holds this logo and this little text toolbar on the top right hand side now the cool thing is if I just go main underscore header is that the only thing we really need to do is style 
the text on the upper right and the logo whenever we put it in place since everything is left aligned it's gonna plop right where it needs to the only thing we need to do is style this so I decided to put that in a separate div tag so for now let me just go ahead and add a comment here um, space with logo and top links and we don't need to style anything in there for now but we want to leave a section um, just in case we need to come back that's what we're gonna call it now for those top right hand links what I want those links to do is I want them to kind of break away from the styling that they inherited by default these should be on the left but I obviously want them to appear on the right hand side away from the logo so in order to do that let me just go ahead and make a right align section and what this is going to be is the first thing I want to do is I want to float this to the right and I also want to text align right so whenever we surround text in this what it's going to do is it's going to take the entire box and move it over to the right and it's also going to take the text that's inside that box and shift that to the right as well so that is how you right align that div and the last thing I'm going to be going over is now that we got our main header and our links taken care of I want to go over this search area right here now I'm going to go ahead and name this give it a name of or an ID of top search so top underscore search and now the first thing I want to do is this check it out pay attention to what we have going on here we have this blue search bar and we have this logo which is basically inside the main header but as you can see there's a little bit of space between this logo and this little search bar now partly because whenever I made this image there's a little bit of white space on the bottom but it's also because I added a margin right on top of this because if the logo plops right on here it's gonna look like it's all one big thing so you definitely want to add some space right there so for the top search I'm just gonna give it a margin top of about 10 pixels I don't think anything more than that will be necessary and now what I want to do is I want to give it a padding now remember the padding is pretty much the space from the elements inside such as this box and the border of your ID or section as I should call it so let's go ahead and do that right now so margin top and give it a padding of this 5 pixels 0 pixels 5 pixels and 10 pixels now again whenever we put four pixels inside either padding or margin they go in this order top right bottom left so the top and the bottom both are five pixels so that's why we have a little bit of blue on the top and the bottom and on the right hand side there are zero pixels because it doesn't even reach that so we're just gonna leave that at default but on the left hand side as you can see this last is the left and we put 10 pixels from the left because if this search bar was butted right up against the left then it would kind of blend in with this background and it, it would just look really weird so there you go um, that's that so the last thing we want to do before we get to the really cool stuff is display this as a block element because we definitely don't want anything appearing on the left or right hand side we don't want it in line we want to make sure it's a block now what I'm gonna do is I like for this website to have a new age rounded corners look now if we just make everything square then it's really gonna look like the 1990s this is web development in the 2012 era so we want things to have rounded corners now hopefully you watch my HTML5 and CSS3 tutorials but if you didn't then I will mention this there's been kind of an issue with rounded corners that CSS3 isn't fully adapted by all browsers so we need to kind of tweak it to trick it into working on all browsers so eventually it's going to be border radius and you're just going to be ahead going to be able to go seven pixels and it's going to round your corners seven pixels the more pixels the more round however Firefox uses something else what they do is they use something called minus Moz minus border radius seven pixels and aside from that Safari I believe it is and Google Chrome use something called a WebKit 
So whenever you type WebKit, this is going to make it compatible with Google Chrome. This is going to make it compatible with Firefox. And this is going to make it compatible with everything else like Internet Explorer. So there we go. We now have rounded corners that work on all browsers. So the last thing we want to do is this. We pretty much made this section, set it where we wanted it to be. We padded everything correctly and rounded the corners. But right now, it's just a white section with no border. So what we want to do in order to give it this blue color is we need to set the background color. So background color. And the background color of this, that blue color that I just showed you guys, is 006699. So there you go, and with all that, that is all we have to do for that top search section for now. So basically we made a section that stretches across our entire website, it padded everything in nice, has a nice blue um, background. So in the next tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to be styling the main section, this left section, this main section on the right, and also the footer. And once we're done with that, we're ready to move on to something more exciting. So anyways, for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.